All right, I'm on Vera HF on 40 meters at five watts. Trying to send an email on Windlink Express. It's connecting, it's a little rough because there's a lot of people in that portion of the band or signals. Or... Oh, there it is. Five watts, AK4SK, five watts on the 705 sending an email with my Chameleon F-Loop 2.0 clamped onto the porch of my RV. Look, look, there it is. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you in part by hamradioprep.com. Studying for your ham radio license is a breeze. hamradioprep.com. Hello everyone, KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts. I've showed the Chameleon F-Loop, I've used it a lot. But what I never showed you was this little mount that I have here that Chameleon actually makes. Now this is a balcony slash rail mount. And it's got uh, several, you could use it for ham sticks. It's got, um, if you look at the back, it's got the 3 8 by 24, which I actually took off to put the plate of the F loop onto it and use it as a nut. And I got it tightened on to the railing of my RV, okay? And then what's cool is, let me turn the D-Star down here. This is actually being received because the repeater's so close. This uh, antenna doesn't really do VHF or EHF, but it's uh, receiving. But what's cool is the tripod that comes with the F-Loop 2.0 actually now doubles as a, you know, a little stand here for my 705. So now I have the antenna, which is a, uh, in arm range that I could, you know, tune up for HF. Check it out. All right. All right, so there's some Ridion 20 here. I'll go like this, one, two, three. There you go. You can see the signals on there. All it is is me just tuning this up. And there you go, okay? Check it out. Now this one is called the jaw mount, so I can use this uh, several different ways as well. It's got the 3 8 by 24 you can use it for ham sticks, you could use it for, uh, you know, a barbecue grill, a balcony, you can clamp on it this way if you had something, maybe a, a pole in the ground. And uh, you see, this is how this works. So there's a hole here, so I can use this clamped on to something if I had a smaller diameter, like that. And then right here would be the vertical section where I would hook up my antenna. Or I can clamp this. That was a big gun that just got shot out here. A lot of people shooting guns. And then I can also clamp it this way or this way. All right. And so you can get several different ways. The jaw mount here. This is a, a really good piece for mounting on anything. I mean, I, I guess I could, well, I guess if I had to, I can somehow clamp it onto here on the side of my truck bed. I could clamp it, you know, over here in my toolbox somehow. There's there's various ways of doing that. Uh, so, I mean, you see a lot of chameleon stuff in here. The MCOM 3 base, I was using that today. Uh, video, I'll show you about that. The impasse, I'll show all kinds of stuff here for chameleon. Look, look, there it is. Now it's a little rough. And what I'll tell you though is <clears throat> at 10 watts, if I plugged into this thing at 10 watts, it'd be even better. But look at my setup right here, look at this. Laptop, 705 on the tripod of the Chameleon because the Chameleon is clamped on. See, and there's ready coming right over the top. There's a ready round it this weekend. The F-loop's clamped right onto the balcony. Um, that, that's a pretty, nope, man, there goes my computer, the battery is dead. Hi, right. you saw it, though, you saw what happened. I'm going to plug in my uh, bio and I'll get the battery charging. This thing is stuck on transmit because it died. But you saw it right here. Five watts with the 705, Chameleon F-Loop, 7.3, KJ4, YZI.